This might be our last one here. We got SC Scout guy says, <laughs> is South Carolina a consistent eight-plus win team under Beamer? Y'all go ahead, and I will, <laughs> oh, I will bring the point home. Oh, dear. Um. I mean, I, even tell you, I'll say this. The one thing, Chris, that I've got in my notes here from Shane Beamer, um, the one quote he made that made me a little hesitant, and I don't know if Co- I don't think every coach says this, to be honest with you. I haven't heard Kirby Smart say this and a bunch of others, but the one phrase he said, and you may have it in yours, Chris, he said, we expect to play true freshmen at, I think he said every position, but I just kind of said, all right, mm. he probably means a lot of the positions, right? I don't think he expects it at every single position, but you know, it's kind of what he said. He's like, look, and, and, and that goes back to what I said earlier, 38 new players on the roster. So I, I think they're one of those teams that maybe you have, I don't want to say necessarily a ton of questions, but I, I do think it is one where it's, it's understandable that they as a staff may still have some questions entering fall camp. Of course they do. Um, so I thought that was an interesting comment, but can they consistently do that? Well, that was one of the messages he talked about, right? Chris was just the consistency and, and trying to make sure they were more consistent on offense. And he talked about specifically, which we talked about a lot last year, guys, the Florida to Tennessee game, the big difference there, right? Like how different that was. Don't score an offensive touchdown, score 63 points or whatever. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Not easy to, to be a consistent eight-win team in the SEC, is it? And we'll see if South Carolina can do that. So, Yeah, I could, I could argue both ways. I really couldn't. I think South Carolina, if you want to look at diversity of outcomes over the next 10 years, I think that Carolina would be one of the teams that the range for wins there might be as large as, as anybody in the league Uh, for different. I, I think they're a confusing team. You go back and look at some stats. They didn't always add up. I think last year, even though they finished inside the top 25, had huge wins over Tennessee and Clemson. The, the stats underlying that didn't always back that up, and they lost a couple corners. But Blake, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant my flag here with Carolina. If I had to make a choice, this is where I would go. I would I would think that eight plus wins. I mean, schedule permitting, right? Sometimes you get one of those brutal schedules, and my goodness, they got one of those this year. But I think are they an eight win type team? I would buy it. And one of the reasons is, look, we're all dads here. And so I sort of look at things through the parent lens. And I just was thinking, as I sat there and I watched every coach speak, if my kid one day is a blue chip football player, and I'm just, and I'm going by nothing other than just watching these guys speak at media day, who would I want my kid to play for? The the three names that I think I wrote down that, that stood out were, and maybe maybe in this order, but I liked all these guys for different reasons. Billy Napier, Shane Beam, or Sam Pittman. I, I just felt there was a relatability factor with all those guys, and that's just me. Everybody could process it differently, but th- there's a lot in Shane Beamer's personality that I like and that I'm buying. And when that, when that's your leader, that means a lot. Yeah, that's because you're a nice guy, Chris, and uh, they're you know you 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 like nice guys. And Shane Beamer is a nice guy. He likes nice TikTok views, nice YouTube views, nice all this kind of stuff. I don't know that he's got to decide what kind of he, you talk about parents. He's totally different than his dad as a coach. I just don't see it see it being the same. Um, I think there there has to be a listen. He's young. He's still young for a head coach, and I think there's got to be a maturity on his part to get to get South Carolina to where they consistently be an eight win team. I think there was too many instances and I'm not just talking about having fun on social media and stuff like that. There was too many instances in which he was questioned by media and stuff like that and, and flew off the handle, like tried to, the emotions were everywhere. And that, that even happened sometimes in games, the emotions, the swing of emotions. And you can't have that as the, the, the leader of, of a, of a successful program. So I think that's one thing that has to change. And I look at it this year, you know, opening up with a tough North Carolina team, that's going to be tough. They got Georgia week three. Uh, They got Tennessee at Neyland. They got to go to Columbia, Missouri. They got to go to Kyle field back to back weeks. They got to go. They got Kentucky coming into town and they do have Clemson coming into town, but man, it's going to be hard to get to eight wins this year. And if that's, if we're saying consistently get to eight wins, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know that, that it's not necessarily a Shane Beamer thing. 
as much as it is the SEC is really hard, and now you're about about to add Texas and Oklahoma into it. 